what's happening everybody welcome to brown data scientist so in the previous video we implemented a keyword based elastic search search engine and that was working pretty good as you know elastic search is super fast we went through the query structure and installation of elastic search the search results were good but we weren't satisfied with it as it was only fetching the documents on the basis of keywords whatever you enter you receive it you cannot use it like google search like the context based goodies that the modern search engines provide so we discussed that in the future videos we will be using some deep learning method to improve that existing elastic stack so today today we will look into that at first we will will we will go through how the existing indexing scheme of elastic works and then on top of that we will use google state of the art bert algorithm for embeddings and we will see how that can be used to improve the search using elastic and the bert docker so let's dive into it so we will now go through the indexing part of elastic search how the indexer actually indexes your document um, let's say we have these two documents that we in inserted into elastic search uh, the first thing the elastic search is going to do in the analysis part after insertion is tokenization which looks like this all the words are are, dis are divided into tokens like single word tokens and then a vector is vector is produced from that if you can see um, two documents had the word swimmers see present in documents as you can see so these tokens are then went through the filtration step in filtering or the filters are applied uh, stop words are removed if you can see the in etc and then the whole the documents are lower case to make the search in case case insensitive then stemming is applied if you can see the swimming word has been shortened to the just swim and on uh, synonyms are replaced and then uh, once the the tokenization and the, uh, the filtering part is is done let's go to that part this is a very simple diagram if you can see all right uh, too big so here the client uh, posts the documents to the elastic search the documents are created and then they are sent to the analysis phase the an analyzer just does the tokenization and the filtering that the, that creates an, an inverted index for us that inverted index is stored in a buffer and that buffer is sent to the segment and a shard has a bunch of segments so what is shard shard is a logical separation between our data to help us divide multiple shards on multiple nodes this is how Elasticsearch basically indexes and stores your data now on top of this indexing we will be implementing a an embedding based a deep learning based uh, implementation of this search engine so let's see what embedding looks like you may have heard of word 2 vec an algorithm that creates the representation of your words vector into a uh, of your words into a vector space represents your words in a vector space what is a vector space to a very basic definition it would be the, the if you look at this diagram the floats or the the weights of this hidden layer of this auto encoder or this word to vec diagram these are called the embeddings or the weights uh, in the hidden layer and these represent your input in the vector space let's see what the vector space looks like word to x vector space that is hosted by google if we see if we give it a query like uh, footballer and see the nearest neighbors of the word footballer what, what what is most similar to a footballer we will we will see what the results are okay i hope it's visible 
so football's nearest neighbors are actors novelists cricketers uh, let me show you one thing if you see the nearest is actors actress and musician the distance is shorter for these these terms there are hidden pointers hidden uh, variables that give bring these these two together from from what i can deduce from this is i think the fame and the the money that is bring that brings these two together so this is the smart way that ai provides to us if you can see there is a word brazilian also there so that is that is what what's going to help us in in making a super smart search engine which can give us uh, brazilian players if we search for football instead of instead of just giving us the images of a football or what football is how football is played or something like that so we have a very simple architecture we're going to use the bird docker the elastic search and the, a very simple flask app and in that we will be querying we will be sending our queries the text queries to the bird docker to receive the embedding or the vector space representation vector from bird and then we will be sending uh, that we will be sending that vector to elastic search for indexing so what is going to happen is that all the all the documents that we have all the text that we have that we want to index will be will be first converted into into embeddings or uh, vectors and then those vectors those dense vectors will be sent to elastic search for indexing and what's what's going to happen next how we're going to query as a as a search how we're going to uh, perform search queries on this whole architecture is that the same flask app this flask app will be sending request will be converting the search query to to vectors and then to that it will be sending those dense vectors to elastic search and elastic search will be applying cosine similarity on two vectors the one that is the query vector that we have sent and the one that that query vector is nearest to in the index of elastic search so this will make our search smart and elastic search is fast as we know it so let's dive into the code and uh, how this whole process works in a demo so in this section we will be going through the code that is in the github repository that i just showed you in the, first of all you will be creating an index in the elastic search uh, this file in create index what it does is it it makes this schema it creates this schema in the in the elastic search for you the most important part of this schema is that this this part the, the the dense vector what elastic search will do is it will be it will be receiving the birds created dense vector that's the exact size what birds returns to us the 768 so all right so that is how we create an index and then once the index is created in elastic search we will create documents the part where we create the documents from BERT or we convert our documents to the embeddings using BERT and then those documents will be imported or inserted into Elastic. So in this very simple code from the Git repository, the create document.py file has it. In this loop, we convert, we convert the documents into embeddings and then we receive those embeddings and uh, convert them into dictionaries if you see this create document function this bulk predict function just converts it into into embeddings using the the bird docker it communicates with with the rest api uh, here the data set in the text format is loaded in the form of dictionary and then then when we when we receive the the vector format of that document's text we we just make you in a bigger dictionary from that and that dictionary is stored line by line in a in a json line file format and that creates a huge 
repository of all the documents with text and with uh, with text and with vectors that are received by received from bird if you remember this is from the previous video these, these are the same news articles with author name and text and that text is being converted into the text that user will be searching for is being converted into vectors uh, using bird so what's going to happen next we have a huge we have huge files of json uh, these contain these huge files contain uh, uh, thousands of lines of documents or JSONs that are that we are going to that are in the that are in Elasticsearch document ready format. We only have to import it in Elasticsearch or index it. Uh, so this this file what this file does is this, and then once the documents are created, it's simple. We only index those documents with this this these few lines of code. The the file is. Uh, the documents repository or the json line file is picked up and it's it's passed passed to elastic search here so that was the code overview of this uh, this architecture uh, let's go through how it looks like when it's running first we will show you how the bird docker looks like when it's running uh, where is it we are we have started the bird docker and we have started the web app that will be serving the queries to the, the to the bird docker and then posting it to uh, elastic search or elastic search is also running here is the, the response so let's let's see what we have gone through uh, till now this is the file structure of this git repository that that gives you the whole search search uh, solution this is the bird serving folder the 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 data management folder that 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 inserts all your data into into elastic search and then the the web app is in this folder this docker docker compose uh, gives us the docker orchestration for the web app uh, the elastic search installation and the the bird serving at these ports we only have to run it and take care of the the dependencies so uh, let's have a look at what we have achieved till now what we have done is we we have indexed news uh, news articles their title the author name and date and all that and with all that as we have mentioned before the 700 and something uh, vectors uh, 700 dimension 700 and i don't know what what was the number 700 plus it was uh, is the the dimension is the vector that that this text has been converted into let's see this is the articles text this is the articles this is each articles text it has been converted into a fixed size vector of size uh, what was the size of it let me let me check that out Seven sixty-eight, a dense vector of seven sixty-eight that looks like this. That that looks like this. Uh, so each of the text documents is converted into this vector space, which will help us write in the next in the in this demo, which will help us in searching through the vector space. Uh, so this is this is the this is the the deal how this works every document is converted into into a vector a dense vector and it's stored in elastic search in it is indexed now we will go to the part where we query uh, if we fire queries on on this this elastic search instance and see the difference of text based search and uh, text tokens based search and the embeddings based search we'll see the difference um, so where is my so here is the the web app that that i was talking about let's search for anything oh so it this web app doesn't work when the 
and this is open this kibana instance is open let's give it a shot this is we we have run the the web app that communicates with All right so let's search anything this can be buggy what's wrong oh it's here here we have we have searched for trump and the news about trump is here so let's test that context thing that we have been talking about and how it's going to be better than the the keyword based search let's search for uh president of korea here we have so we have search queries that talks about uh, talks about kim uh, this this news also what is it talking about there is another news about kim then there is north korea or trump news so, so as you can see in the in the search query there is no keyword related to kim and one more thing kim is not the president he's even better and the algorithm knows it he's he's the goddamn supreme leader so uh, even bird knows that and if you look for a president kim is whatever it's close to a president that korea has and it's famous and it's in the news articles so if you can see how good and how easy is it it, it is to to build a search uh, by using the open source repositories and elastic search can be uh, really useful and uh, easy to implement if you want to build a search engine of this kind now let's see what what a simple elastic search would have given us for such query let's see what the keywords find for us As you can see, this is the the ordinary search by Elasticsearch. There is no cosine similarity or anything else used. Okay, so this is the word Korea has been fetched. Donald Trump has been fetched, and it's a huge vector. no kim it's just one query and no no kim so this was it uh, the word embeddings or the bird based elastic search search engine solution which uses deep learning so that's it guys uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe to brown data scientist and stay tuned for other videos on deep learning and data science take care bye